Hi everyone, I am back to read the next chapter of Ungifted. It is called Unburdened by Abigail Lee. And I'm really excited because we haven't really heard from Abigail in a really long time. And we know that she is a type of character that is always worrying. She wants to be the best at everything and she wants everything to go perfectly. So not everything went so perfect, but it's a happy day because Katie had her baby. So maybe she'll have some good things to say in this chapter. I refuse to let this mess leave a hole in my record. I spent hours, days even, trying to draft the perfect line to take credit for being on the robotics team without taking blame for what the robotics team had done. Disqualified was such an ugly word. Banned was even worse. Conduct on becoming a scientist? No, don't even go there. I finally went with 2012 State Robotics Meet First Place Power Ranking, DNF. Maybe no one would look into the definition of DNF, which means did not finish. Or realize that was, that was no such thing as a first place power ranking, which just meant that our robot beat the snot out of Cold Spring Harbor's robot. I don't think Harvard's emissions department would be too impressed by that. I remember Harvard is a really big time college and obviously she wants to get into there. It wouldn't hurt someone like Noah. He would get into college wherever he wanted. Sadly, he would probably go nowhere at all. I never thought I'd see this. There was such a thing as being too smart. Confession, I was jealous of Noah. I'd give anything to spend an hour inside his head to take a mind like that out for a test drive, but I wouldn't want to be him, even though he'd always be above a black mark like the robotics meet, which would be an Ivy League deal breaker for the rest of us. Another thing, Harvard could never be allowed to find out about how close I came to be going to summer school for human growth and development. Do you think their emissions department would care that it was my, wasn't my fault? Of course not. Everybody knows who goes to summer school. People who can't pass in the fall, winter, and spring. People who actually have to open up their report cards to find out their grades. People who think a road scholarship is driver's ed. At least I've been spared that black mark, thanks to Donovan Curtis. Yes, I know, I was really hard on Donovan and said a lot of terrible things about him. And I stand by my original opinion that he never should have been in the gifted program. But that doesn't mean that we all weren't really lucky for the Atlas incident that put him in Oz's class. Which brings up the final piece of information that Harvard could never ever be permitted to learn. Ditto. Yale, Princeton, Columbia, Brown, Dartmouth, Stanford, Penn, and Cornell. Those are all really great colleges. If anyone accuses me of this, I'll deny it. I might even sue. I was the one who hacked into the library computer and helped Donovan cheat on the retest. Surprised? Me too. Okay, so even though that was a really short chapter, I want to hear what you all think. Abigail, out of everyone, was the person that helped Donovan cheat and help him stay in the gifted program, in the academy. Why do you think Abigail helped Donovan? Hmm. Think about her character. Think about maybe what Donovan would get out of it. Maybe what she would get out of it. I don't know. So answer the question, why do you think Abigail was the one that helped Donovan cheat on the test? Comment below and or comment on Google Classroom. Can't wait to hear your ideas.